Okay guys, so just finished harvesting a, a row of uh, uh, red blaze potatoes. So let's see. So, real own guys. Got me some fresh potatoes here. All right, I'm gonna have to leave that out in the sun to cure a bit. That is from this row here. I'm tired, I'm still yet to go and do these ones, they dry a little bit. All right, so, bye. I'm just here collecting potatoes. Woo! Off the ground. Just different colors, different variations. Everybody together as one. green shoots one was coming back up oh well you'll see see what it looks like under here there's potato everywhere I wish I wouldn't have to disturb the uh, roots of the beetroot, but hey, next time I won't plant beetroots around the potato too late. Or I might plant them early and then probably plant the potatoes after, I'm not sure. But I thought they would have came up at the same time, that's why I planted them both at the same time. It's a lot of small ones. Which means it could have gone some more. Could have left it some more. Could have developed some. Some more. But hey, say what. This one looked like he was going to put up more roots again. Use this one back. These purple ones, I just love these purple ones. It just looks so pretty. I love me some red bliss also very beautiful in the garden makes a beautiful dish guys i say if you're planting potato best thing to do is plant different colors different varieties once you're doing it at home don't do the regular i mean because it just spoils the fun of it so try growing different colored potatoes so that way when you're having a nice roasted potato dish as your menu you know it will be a wow factor look at this pile here look at this pile you can see it's just potatoes 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 love love growing potatoes i love it i don't know where i have space for it anymore because i just dug up like two or three rows already before uh last month and i still haven't used all of it
so that's the next thing guys you grow potatoes you need to find a storage space for them uh, Ooh, some long juicy worms Prince was here Prince would have loved that so um, yeah in between you'll get some little potatoes like these here but it's okay you can you can cook them in yeah. um but you pick the potatoes you're supposed to just leave it out here in the sun let it take a little dry um sun and you know dry it a bit but i don't trust my chickens <laughs> i'm being honest i don't trust my chickens so that's not gonna happen so um I am going to take this and put this uh, laid out on some newspaper by the poolside and let it just, you know, dry out naturally there. Or, you know, if you, if you want, you could put it in your garage. I don't have space in my garage to do that, so that's a no no there, right? So I'm gonna do these uh, three baskets here. Don't think I might do this one because I'm still seeing some green shoots here. So I'm just going to do this one and this one, definitely. Tell us how you got all those potatoes uh, just by one picking. One seedling gives you like about uh, 8 to 10 potatoes most of the times. Sometimes according to how uh, fertile the soil is and you got to put a lot of uh, nitrogen in the soil. Um, if you don't put a lot of nitrogen you won't get big bulbs big tumors i should say like you know like this you know this is some big suckers you know we had some bigger ones we had a bigger one here like like here it was big and that's because you put a lot of nitrogen in the soil and these here i regrow them I leave them to be that regrown. doesn't look like a potato that looks like dirt all along yeah, it looks like dirt but I regrow it and put it in your regrow section. That's the regrow section. Yeah, that's things to be regrown. But look at how much potato she gets. Uh, almost the whole, well, the basket full. Yeah. How many potatoes does it grow on the potato one plant of the seed? Right, as I was saying, one plant probably gets, you get sometimes you get five sometimes you get eight mm -hmm. if, if it's big you get like five but four. if it's like kind of small if it's small like the uh it like will the, like uh, get a lot yeah when it's small like the um I thought, like, red okay. bliss and the, the purple potato you get a, you know the small ones so you get like about eight on the bunch from one plant i thought it would have been like the smaller ones get less and the bigger ones get more no this the smaller the potato you get you know more but it comes up to about the same weight it's just about a pong you get from a plant um sometimes as i said it depends on how you fertilize the soil if you put a lot of nitrogen but i didn't put a lot of nitrogen in um this soil too much because I was trying to grow some beetroots with it and beetroot don't like too much uh, nitrogen so yeah that's the reason why I didn't put a big bunch and I didn't want to go through this bin yet but I guess I will so I'm, I'll pull this one out of us as a plant and you would see wow this I thought is, you said it would have been five but right, oh is, there's only two right because this is green still so it isn't like fully ready so it's just like two so, so when we, it's green oh it's, it's like, only three yeah it's three it's two because this is the this is the main one that you planted this is the seedling it always comes out darker all right and these so are the, the seedling seedling you don't worry about that one no you can always cook that one no you don't cook back the seedling it ends oh. up rotting oh all right so i'm gonna put these back into the uh, so i ground. thought like so like this one like this one hmm? right so those are parts of the seedling this is the seedling here and when the plant dries out like this then you know that the plant um 
is, is ready, ready for to... pick, picking because it would have absorbed and made all the tumors that it has there's no little bulbs on the end here so you know it's ex it's used up its energy it's exhausted yes it's exhausted it's tired right so these green ones look at it see it looks green you get me mm -hmm. so it looks green and you say wow time to pick my potatoes but guess what it's not time to pick your potatoes yet you pick your potatoes as i said earlier in my, one of my videos when you see the uh leaves have dried out so i'm not really picking these potatoes but just, I'm just like the one that my mom showed you right so i'm just showing what it looks like under i'm not picking it but i'm showing what it have going on under there you see it still have little small ones there still trying to grow out. so it still has a long way to go before it um finishes because these tumors has to swell so i'm just putting it on the growing section i'm not touching it i'm not picking a potato off of it 